Steve McGurano, Cal Water Sports, are here at the one and only John Ryder, man. Good to see you again. Jaime Munguia obviously had fight of the year last year with Sergey Derevchenko, but that also means you didn't dominate the fight, right? That means you were kind of in the fight of your life for you to have fight of the year. Does that give you like any extra confidence that like that maybe this guy's a little more vulnerable than you know he has been before? Not really, no, because I kind of had the fight of my life last year as well against Canelo, so. Um I learned a hell of a lot about myself in that fight, and I'm sure he'd have done the same. Um, he was lucky to come away victorious. I was on the the, the end of the wrong end of the result, but um, was, I, I mixed it with a, a world, one of the world's best, and came out short. Um, it was a great experience. Like I can say I learned a, a ton about myself. I learned about my heart and my desire, and that still burns in me now. You know, looking at Jaime's record, Dervinchenko was maybe the best fighter on there, you know, now with your your name, you know, fighting him, do you feel maybe you're the most polished fighter that, that he's ever faced, you know, today? He's been in there against good opposition. Uh, Liam Smith at 154, who won the title off, was a, is a great fighter um, and as tough as they come. So, listen, he's, 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 a, he's a great name. Obviously, Devotrenko is a great name. And myself, yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably the best today he's facing. He'll be the best today I'll face because... We, Listen, no matter who's gone before, um, he's what's in front of me now. Obviously, Canelo's kind of classic, you know, style, technical, you know, um, and Jaime's a little, you know, maybe rough around the edges. You know, does that maybe uh, a little confidence in you? Is that like, okay, you took, you know, you know, a lot of people saying the best fighters in the world punches, you know what I mean, his style, and Jaime's maybe a little more vulnerable than that. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an interest. Um, we've obviously studied lots of tape and we, we look to work on things like that, but... He's very. Um, I'm sure he's been refining his skills under the, under Freddie Roach now and working on his weaknesses. Um, so it's just there to be seen what, what what changes he's made. Fighting a fighter who is his first camp with you know a new trainer. What what I mean I don't know if you've ever changed trainers or anything. What's what's different you know in that first fight with a new trainer that you're like okay you know maybe you could even take advantage. Of? It is tough. I mean yeah I've, I've switched trainers and. There's that adjustment where if, if it's not going your way, you're going to result back to what you know and, and what you did before. So it's, enough. it's, it's about making them uncomfortable in there and, and trying to upset the party. And lastly, you know, we've seen a lot of Mexican fighters go across the pond, beat, you know, English fighters. Is this kind of yours that you're like, oh, man, I got, I got to get this one for, for the English? Got to get the get back, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I've, I've been present and seen a lot of Mexican fighters come and cause the upset. So for me, it's... Um, I want to put the boot on the other foot and come and upset some, uh, some Mexican fighters. Well, best of luck, man. Thank Much you. appreciate your time. Thank you.